Well, good morning. Here we are almost at the end of August, and that doesn't seem possible. So we're going to give you a Mayor's Minute, which always takes more than a minute. Riverside Park update. Uh, recent video we just posted in the last day or two. Uh, one of the comments that was made, if you've ever seen a whole lot of dirt flying or something like that, there's a whole lot of dirt being moved and great progress is being made and I'm very pleased that uh, it looks like October we're going to be able to start seeing some footings going in place. That's exciting. Uh, a week or so ago we held the first city, uh, city of Benton job fair where all departments had a chance to talk to people who walked in from the public who wanted to learn more about what it would be like to work for city government and 30, I think 32 people uh, took advantage of that, so as it stands right now, we're planning on doing that again next spring. And if you haven't picked up on the Legends segments on the blog with J.P. Moore and Betty Berry, you're missing something that's really special. Uh, what a couple of uh, wonderful citizens, and their lives are exemplary of a whole lot of things that stands for why Benton's such a great place to be. If you missed it, go back and take a quick look at it. You all remember a few weeks ago, a real disaster, the counseling clinic burned down. And from the back side of my office, I can actually look out the window and see the entire site has been cleaned up now and all of the memory of the burned out building and rubble is now gone. And so plans are already underway to rebuild. Constant Clinic does just so many wonderful things for people in our county. Kroger Marketplace, you get asked that every day. Uh, as far as we know right now, September 22nd, 23rd, we'll probably hear more about that in the next week. That will be the official opening at the Kroger Marketplace. And you'll be able to walk in and, I guess, buy furniture and jewelry. It's just crazy, but it's great. Alcoa Road Utilities relocation is right now is on schedule and still targeting the hopefully sometime in mid-November. Uh, then we have to start talking about where do we go with the road build. And a couple things for you all to remember about Salt Bowl that seem possible is coming up on September the 4th, War Memorial Stadium. And of course the County Fair, which is a tremendous attraction for a lot of folks who love that is starting on September the 8th down at the fairgrounds. So we've got some real nice community-driven activities. Salt Bowl will be 25,000 or more people. And lastly, at KTHV, and if you haven't picked up on some of the commercials we've been running in the morning as a part of our promotions, uh, Benton Proud and uh, what we're doing with our BBDI promotional campaign and advertisements, on the 25th, it's Benton Day on KTHV. They will be here for the tailgate party for a ball game that night from 5 to 7. And the week before, they will be coming in and interviewing individuals on the street, businesses, and so on. So it's going to be a very, very strong, consolidated series of stories all about Benton on KTHV on the 25th of September. So maybe we've kept this one. Well, no, we did. It's more than a minute. Dave Mattingly, your mayor, signing off again from City Hall. We'll be talking with you again hopefully in about four or five weeks. Thanks.